All righty, Keelan. What are you bringing to Money Chat today? Well, it's like a holiday today because you look at the ground and we don't have any snow. Yes. I know. I'm kind of happy and kind of sad. I know. When it first comes down, I'm like super excited about it. But I have a new perspective now being a parent. Yeah. And then the holiday, and then the uh, which school is closed. And I've talked to a bunch of other parents, and it's funny. It's like a click that everybody's like mad about secretly. They're like, mm-hmm. I can't wait for our kids to go back to school. <laughs> and then just because we want normality, like I love my yeah. daughter, but like we have things to do in this world, yeah, you know. Exactly. And it really puts a huge burden. And I, I've learned a pretty good lesson between that. And then she catches the flu, and then it oh. snows. So I've been through like this three week of Does crazy. That mean she didn't get to go outside and build a snowman. Oh no, we built a monstrosity of a snowman yeah i'm not going to hold her in like that but um it's really interesting to see the kind of dichotomy of seattle and the Uh snow and how that really just literally shuts the city down like everybody panics and freaks out and uh it was so cold and i think they underestimated how much snow we were going to get yeah and uh but the snow is gone life resumes and i've already talked to a couple parents and literally the first thing coming out of their mouth is celebrating the fact that life goes back to normal kids go back to school we can go back to work and not have the extra so shout out to all the parents out there and for kind of putting up with this well i had a three for most most of them had a two for with the holiday in the snow yeah uh but life is resuming normal as usual and uh good on everybody and parents for being good parents and taking care of your little ones i second that i love that yeah we're uh elevations 500 feet up in newcastle and i tell you it's crazy it was definitely a sheet of ice and the scary thing is is the kids are all out there sledding down those uh, the ice when we've got people trying to drive to get out of the cul-de-sac so it was oh, a, and it's good. pretty steep in there you've been over to my house yeah 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 i can imagine yeah yeah so anyways well i thought i'd bring in today money chat to talk uh we're heading into a or we are in a new de- decade so today i thought i'd share back to the 70s with interest rates to give a little perspective of what's gone on with the last decade and you know kind of the benefit of where we're at today so if we go back to the 70s the lowest rate was in 1972 at 7.23 now, the highest rate was 1979 at 12.90%. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to say ouch even more, as you know, as I get in these decades. So Jeez. rates rose during the great inflation. That's what happened, it happened in the 70s. Now, if we move to the 80s, the lowest rate in 1987 was 9.03 and the highest interest rate in 1981 at 18.63%. People complain now. Could you imagine buying a home at eighteen percent interest mm, rate? That's it's uh, just it's so oh crazy. Goodness. So rates fell <laughs> after the historical peak in nineteen eighty one, and then we go to the nineties. The lowest rate was nineteen in nineteen ninety eight at six point four nine percent. The highest rate was nineteen ninety at ten point six seven. So the rates held relatively flat with a stable economy. Then we go into the 2000, uh, lowest rate was in 2009 at 4.71, the highest rate in 2000 at 8.64%. So rates fell to historical lows, obviously, because of the financial meltdown. So going into 2010s, the lowest rate was in 2012 at 3.31%, and the highest rate was in 2010 at 5.21%. Rates continued to decrease and held at their historical lows. So if we look at the lowest historic, the historical low interest rate was 2012 at 3.31 percent, the highest 1981 at 8.6, 18.63. So the average rate over the last 10 years was 4.69 percent. So it's just really interesting as we look at the last decade, historical rates was the norm. So it'll be interesting when we get into a new decade, whether that's this decade or the next decade, where our norm goes back to a historical norm, which is not these low interest rates that we see. Now, the lowest the rates have been in the last few years was in 2009, was 2019 at the lowest was 3.625. The average rate today, not quoting interest rates, there's a lot of different factors that have to do with rates, uh, but the average is 3.81%. So again, the lowest in the last few years is 3.625. We're at an average of 3.81. So call to action, uh, you know, we've said this a lot over the last decade, but it's just so true that, you know, with the cost of money so low, it's a great time to get out there. Uh, Take a look at your options for refinancing. If you've got a percent or higher than what the average rate uh, that I'm talking about today, if you're looking at uh, being a first time home buyer, getting out of rent. What about purchasing that that second home or that property, vacation property, you can spend time with your family? 
or investment. We're going to actually be talking about uh, investment in cars today yeah. with our second guest. <laughs> Keelan's really excited about that. Um, but always real estate's a great investment as well. And that's your money chat for the day. Coming up next on the Money Hour, let's go um, and talk about anger or frustration. D Gupa of D Coaching right here on 1150 AM KKNW after this short break. <laughs> 